hi guys my name is Yudi and welcome to my channel so um today i'm going to show you how to merge data sets together or how to merge multiple sheets multiple columns together so today i'm merging this pizza type um, um sheet to pizza sheet so they were two different data sets so i brought in the pizza type into the pizza workbook so that i could merge them the common thing between them is the pizza type id so you must have you must have a column a common column before you can do your merge so my my common column is a pizza pizza type id <laughs> so i'm going to be using vlookup so we go equals to vlookup so um by the time we double click excel will tell you what to do next i'm going to be looking up my pista type id in the other table so i pick my pista type comma then i go to my pista type sheet then i pick the entire table so for you to pick the entire table you click there then since i am going to be bringing in multiple columns i'm going to bring in my name category and ingredients so i'm going to be using sequence so i type my sequence by the time I type my sequence, I'm bringing in three columns. So my name, category, and ingredients, those are three columns. So I put in comma three. Then I close the bracket and I put plus one. Plus one means it's going to be moving from B to C to D. So I put in plus one and I put my comma. Is it is it true or false? I pick false because I want the exact match. And I won't close the bracket. You see the, what the system is going to tell me. So the system brought up an error telling me it will help me close the bracket. I said, okay. So now the system has closed the bracket. You can see my pizza type um, has been joined to my pizza um, sheet. My name, my column, and all that has been joined. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to drag it down to auto field. The system gave me an error. And I'll tell you why the system gave me an error. So I drag it down. I don't know why it's not dragging down. Drag down now. <laughs> so I drag it down. The system is giving me an error. So I'm going to take it back up. I didn't want to do country Z. So I, I'm, I just took it back up because I did not lock my table. So the system is going to give me error. So for you to lock your table, you go back to your formula bar and you put the dollar sign in those um columns so my column that, that like the range of your table you put it do the dollar sign so by the time you put the dollar sign press enter and you can see no more error by the time you lock your table there will be no more error i hope this was helpful i hope this is helpful please like share and subscribe thank you bye